Welcome to the Miracosta High School Library. I am Mrs. Lofton, your teacher librarian. I want to invite you to get connected at your school library. I would like you to make the library central to your education and even to some of your social time here at Miracosta High School. Why? Because students who make good use of the library are better students. As your teacher librarian, I am both a trained credentialed librarian and a credentialed teacher. I am here to help you. I am passionate about books and reading, research and information literacy, digital citizenship, and technology. And I am here to help you in all these areas. So please ask. Let's talk about books in the library. We have tons of great books. There's fiction organized alphabetically by the author's last name. You can also use our web-based computer catalog on or off-site to search for fiction books by title, author, or keyword. Nonfiction or factual books in the library are arranged on the shelf in Dewey Decimal order. That keeps all the books on the same subject together on the shelves. Use the computer catalog to search for nonfiction books using keyword topics. Also, use the guide signs at the end of the shelves. Be sure to visit the library whenever you have a research project to take advantage of both books and of good quality online databases and websites. When you need technology, we have it. We have 40 iMacs, 4 PCs, Wi-Fi, a scanner, and projector. And when you need help with technology, Please ask me or get in touch with the Library Geek Squad, a group of tech-savvy students who are here to assist you. In addition to the physical library, please also visit our virtual library online. It's open 24-7 with lots of great resources. You can visit the library website through links from the main school website or by entering this very easy URL mchslibrary.org. The library website has links to great reading ideas, research databases, quality websites, fun web tools, and more. You can learn news about library special events, our library club, new books, contests, and more on our library news blog. You can also follow Library News on Twitter. And please be sure to visit and like the library on Facebook, too. One important part of our virtual library is our library catalog. It's called Destiny. It's online and accessible from any web browser. You can use it to search for both our print books and our ebooks. You can also log in using your permanent ID as your username and Destiny is your password to see what books you have checked out from the library as well as your textbooks. Another part of our virtual library is our subscription databases. Be sure to take advantage of these great quality sources for your research. And be sure to use our EasyBib premium account to keep track of your bibliographic sources and your notes for research projects. The library has just a few rules and procedures you need to know so things run smoothly for everyone. Rule number one is be doing something productive. Use the library for library-related activities. Rule two is be respectful of library materials and other library users. Please treat the books and equipment gently. Covers or Ziploc bags are a great way to protect books from water damage. Please don't turn down the corners of pages. Use a bookmark. 
We always have free bookmarks at the library. And please treat other library users the way you would like to be treated when you're trying to read or concentrate. And rule number three, please leave food, drink, and loud voices outside. They just don't mix with books, computers, and library work. Water in closed bottles is okay. Now let's go over a few library procedures you will want to know. The library is open from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday and from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Fridays. You can come before school, during snack, lunch, or after school without a pass. During class, get a pass from your teacher. I am at the library to help you each day until 3. From 3 to 5, Monday through Thursday, two classroom teachers staff the library. And there are also volunteer students available for tutoring. Books are checked out for two weeks. Have your ID with you to check out books. There is no set limit on how many books you can borrow. Don't let books get overdue, or you keep other students from having access to them. And you can't check out another book until you return an overdue book. We charge a 10 cent per day overdue fine to encourage you to get books back for other users to use them. The library has a black and white photocopier. It is self-serve and coin-operated. Copies are 10 cents per page. To print, email your document to the photocopy room, and you can pick it up before school, during snack, or lunch. You'll be charged 10 cents a side. The photocopy room is across from the cafeteria. Thanks for letting me share this video with you. Be sure to come visit the library. And remember, library users are better students.